Hola and welcome to today's pro-Spanish lesson. We're going to start off with something which is very common and very useful, but causes beginners quite a lot of trouble when it comes to translating it. The phrase is, I dropped it. How do we say, I dropped it? And in Spanish, this is, se me cayó. Se me cayó. So, se me cayó is, I dropped it. Well, it can also just be, I dropped and then you follow with, for example, I dropped the plate. Se me cayó el plato. But we'll start off with out anything, and in which case it's I dropped it. Se me cayó. Se me cayó. Now to use this and the other expressions that use this kind of structure, which we're going to look at later, you don't need to know the, the grammar. It's quite abstract. But just for those of you that are interested, I'll quickly take this apart. So to say it, so cayó, well actually it would be se cayó, because to fall, or in this case in the past, it fell, it fell, it's a reflexive verb, so we say se cayó, it fell, it fell. And if we want to say I dropped it, you have to say that it fell to me, or I guess I, it fell from me, se me cayó. So the me is the me. Now, that's the reason why we don't really need to worry about the grammar, because when you take it apart, it doesn't really make that much sense. And we can get along very, very well without knowing the grammar. Of course, a, a five-year-old Spanish child knows how to say, I dropped it in Spanish, but they certainly don't know about reflexive verbs, etc. Okay, so it's the, it's the usage that we're interested in. So again, se me cayó is I dropped it. Now to say I didn't drop it in Spanish to make a negative out of anything we just start off with no, no. So how would you say I didn't drop it or in other words it didn't fall from me. What would that be? I didn't drop it. No se me cayó. No se me cayó. So I didn't drop it. No se me cayó. And as I mentioned before, we use the same structure to say what it is that we dropped. We don't have to change anything, we just add. So let's say, um, el plato, the plate, el plato. How would you say, I dropped the plate, I dropped the plate? Se me cayó el plato. Se me cayó el plato. How would you say, I didn't drop the plate? I didn't drop the plate. What would that be? No se me cayó el plato. No se me cayó el plato. Now, for more advanced learners, you'll know that something is algo. And if you're a complete beginner, you just learnt it now. Something is algo. Algo. How would you say, I've dropped something? I've dropped something. Se me cayó algo. Se me cayó algo. I dropped something. I dropped something. Okay. There are quite a few other really useful expressions like this. And we're going to look at now how to use the same structure to say that I forgot it. I forgot it. So let's go back to our starting phrase, which was se me cayó, meaning I dropped it. And now we're going to use, we're going to learn how to say I forgot it. I forgot it. Like I left it behind somewhere. I forgot it. And to say I forgot it, instead of cayó, we say olvidó. Se me olvidó. So I forgot it. Se me olvidó. Se me olvidó. Okay, and as in I dropped it, you don't really need to take it apart and study all the abstract grammar. We can use it just as we find it. So, se me olvidó. I forgot it. How would you say I didn't forget it? 
I didn't forget it. What would that be? No se me olvidó. No se me olvidó. No se me olvidó. I didn't forget it. How would you say, I forgot something? I forgot something. What would that be? Se me olvidó algo. Se me olvidó algo. How about, I didn't forget the plate. I didn't forget the plate. What would that be? No se me olvidó el plato. No se me olvidó el plato. Okay, so, so far with our lesson, we have expressions with se me. Okay, I mean, these could, we could have these in a, in a different tense. So, if it was, let's say, for example, I have forgotten, instead of I forgot, it would be se me ha olvidado, se me ha olvidado. But we're going to focus on, on the past, I dropped it and I forgot it, because those are going to be the most useful to us in, in conversation, and we need to be able to recall them quickly. And we'll just take a brief pause while I mention the Pro Spanish Levels 1 to 6 course, which is available for download at prospanish.co.uk. And this takes the complete beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in quick and easy steps. Okay, so back to the very, very beginning. Se me cayó. I dropped it. I dropped it. Se me cayó. If we want to say he or she dropped it, instead, instead of it falling from me, it has to fall from him or her. And the word for him or her is le, L-E, le. So instead of saying se me cayó, I dropped it, se le, le, se le cayó. He dropped it, or she dropped it. Se le cayó. She dropped it, or he dropped it. How would we say, she didn't drop it? She didn't drop it. What would that be? No se le cayó. No se le cayó. She didn't drop it. And of course, that also means he didn't drop it. How about... She dropped something important. She dropped something important. And the word for important is very easy to remember. It's importante. The same as in English, but with an E on the end. Importante. So how would we say, she dropped something important? What would that be? Se le cayó algo Importante. Se le cayó algo importante. Okay, so se me cayó. I dropped it. Se le cayó. He or she dropped it. How would we say she forgot it? How would you say that? She forgot it. Se Le olvidó. Se le olvidó. She forgot it. But of course, it would also be he forgot it. Se le olvidó. Se le olvidó. What about he didn't forget it? What would that be? He didn't forget it. No se le olvidó. No se le olvidó. He didn't forget it. How about he forgot something important. He forgot something important. What would that be? Se le cayó. Actually, that would be he dropped. So, se le olvidó algo importante. Se le olvidó algo importante. 
he forgot something important. How about he forgot the cake? He forgot the cake. And the word for the cake is a bit like the tart. La tarta. La tarta is the cake. La tarta. So how would you say he forgot the cake or she forgot the cake? What would that be? Se le olvidó la tarta. Se le olvidó la tarta. He or she forgot the cake. Okay, so we have se me cayó. I dropped it. We've got se le cayó. He or she dropped it. Se me olvidó. I forgot it. Se le olvidó. He or she forgot it. Another useful expression for this, uh, using this structure, is to say, I thought of something. I thought of something. And it, it works in Spanish more like something has occurred to me, which we can also say in English, although more commonly we might say, I thought of something. But we could also say, something has occurred to me. And to say this, we would say, as the same as we have looked at before, se me, and then ocurrió. Ocurrió is it occurred. It occurred. Se me ocurrió. It occurred itself, if we want to be literal, to me. Se me ocurrió. So it occurred to me, or I thought of this thing. So... How would you say, I didn't think of it, or it didn't occur to me? How would we say that? I didn't think of it, or it didn't occur to me. What would that be? No se me ocurrió. No se me ocurrió. I didn't think of it. How would we say, I thought of something. I thought of something. Actually, let's say, let's go straight to, I thought of something important, or something important occurred to me. What would that be? Se me ocurrió algo importante. Se me ocurrió algo importante. I thought of something important. How would we say, she didn't think of it. She didn't think of it. It didn't occur to her. What would that be? No se le ocurrió. No se le ocurrió. She didn't think of it. No se le ocurrió. How about he thought of something important? He thought of something important. What would that be? Se le ocurrió algo importante. Se le ocurrió algo importante. So we started off with se me cayó. I dropped it. We learned se me olvidó. I forgot it. And we learned se me ocurrió. I thought of it, or it occurred to me. We learned to use the, neg the negative. No se me cayó. I didn't drop it. And we learned how to use, or how to use this structure with he or she. So se le cayó. Se le cayó. She dropped it, or he dropped it. Se le olvidó. He or she forgot it. Se le ocurrió. He or she thought of it. And that concludes today's pro-Spanish lesson. As mentioned before, if you're looking to become a confident and a competent speaker of Spanish, head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.